Good day, students. You are welcome again to study session 2 of NSC 307, which is Human Nutrition. In study session 1, you have been introduced to historical background of nutrition. And in this session, which is study session 2, you will learn about some of the basics of nutrition. These basics include the definitions of food and diet, as well as the meaning of nutrition and nutrients. In general, what food does to our body and how the body uses nutrients will also be explained. Finally, the relationship between health, nutrition and development and how they are linked with the Millennium Development Goals will also be discussed. The overall purpose of this session is to teach you some of the basics about nutrition that you will be able to use in your work and will inform your learning throughout the all of this course. At the end of this study session, you'll be able to def briefly define and describe the relationships and differences between food, diet, and nutrients. You'll be able to explain the importance of food and you'll be able to explain the relationship between nutrition, health, and development. Let's look at food, diet, and nutrition. What we eat and drink do keep us alive and well. This helps us grow, develop, work, and play. This is called food. Food is anything edible. It includes all foods and drinks acceptable for that particular society, culture, or religion. Food gives us a feeling of comfort and satisfaction. Eating certain food establishes our identity. What we eat and how we eat makes up our food habits. Most of the food habits are learned in the home from our parents as we grow. Our experiences help us to change some of these food habits. You are learning about food and nutrition in order to be able to teach and help mothers to change their food habits for the better. Diet is the sequence and balance of meals in a day. It is concerned with the eating patterns of individuals or a group. Some people may eat twice in a day, which is the breakfast and dinner. Others may eat four times, like breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. Still others may seem, not, may seem to be trained all day long. Nutrition is the interaction between food and the body. It is about the nutrients contained in food and their action, interaction, and balance in relation to health and disease. It is a process by which people can ingest, digest, absorb, transport, utilize, and excrete food substances. In addition, nutrition is concerned with social, cultural, and physiological implications of food and eating. In general, the science of nutrition is a science of showing how food nourishes the body. A nutrient is an active chemical component in food that plays a specific structural or functional role in the body. Sugar, starches, and fibers are often grouped together as they are all carbohydrates. Vitamins and minerals are needed in very small amounts as they are called micronutrients. Almost all foods are a mixture of nutrients. They contain different amounts of sugar, starch, fiber, fat, protein, minerals, and uh, minerals, vitamins, and water. How food keeps us healthy. Food is needed for energy and nutrients to exist. It provides energy for work and warmth for the body. Everybody also needs food to build, maintain, repair their body. It is also required for the control of body processes and for the protection against diseases and infections. By performing these functions, food helps us to keep healthy, warm, well nourished, free of infections and alive. By helping us to understand how food and nutrients work, the science of nutrition plays a fundamental role in the promotion of health, in the prevention of illness and in the restoration of health following illness or injury. Your work as a nurse can be instrumental in preventing problems related to nutrition. Let's look at the importance of food in the human body. Food contains chemical substances called nutrients, and these are found in varying amounts and combinations in different foods. Enough food containing the necessary nutrients should be eaten every day. It is likely that you will get enough of other nutrients that your body needs by doing this. No one, no one food supplies all the nutrients the body needs. No one nutrient is more important than the other. Each nutrient does specific jobs. The nutrients work together to keep us healthy. It is important to include fiber, which is roughage, in the diet because it makes the bowel work properly and provides bulk to make us feel full. Fresh fruits and vegetables, peas and beans, whole wheat flour and whole refined maize or sorghum flour also give us fiber. 
the nutrients we get from from the food we eat will affect the size and shape of our body the use of nutrients to build tissue and supply energy at various stages of our life is explained here nutrients are the parts of the food which the body uses to build tissues to produce energy to keep us healthy using nutrients to build tissue the human body consists of different types of nutrients. For example, a person who weighs 50 kg consists of 31 kg of water, 9 kg of protein, 7 kg of fat, and 3 kg of minerals. Therefore, besides water, the most important nutrient is protein. Fat is also important to, to build cells and energy stores. Some minerals are important, for example, calcium, which is necessary to build bones and teeth, and iron, which help us to build hemoglobin in the body. Also, using nutrients to build the body. Different ways by which nutrients can be used to build body are enumerated below. One, for growth. A child starts to grow as, as, as a single cell inside his mother. The cells absorb nutrients. It grows and divides into two cells. The cell uses nutrients as building materials for new cell and other nutrients for energy to do the work of building. Each cell then absorbs more nutrients to grow larger and divide again. The cells continue to absorb nutrients and to grow and divide until there are millions of cells which form different tissues such as skin, muscle and bone. The child's body also makes fluids such as blood which nourishes and protects the cells. For pregnancy, during pregnancy, a woman needs body building nutrients to provide the baby and the placenta with nutrients to grow increase the size of our uterus and breast, make more blood and stores of fat that can be mobilized against that can be mobilized during lactation and other nutrients. The body has to keep making fluids such as saliva, digestive juices, tears and breast milk because they are continually used up. Most cells live only a short time. The body must build new cells to replace those that die. The need, the, the need to replace cells continues throughout life. The skin is a good example. The outer layer of the skin is already dead. All the time, new cells do go under the dead cells to replace them. When you wash and dry yourself, you remove the, the, the dead cells. If you wear shoes for a long time, you get holes in the, in the soles. If you walk without shoes, you, you do not get holes in the feet because new skin cells grow under the old cells to replace them. In repairing of tissues, after injury or illness, the body makes new cells to repair the damaged tissue. Using nutrients to produce energy. When you turn on the engine of a car, the petrol combines with oxygen and bones to make energy. The energy makes the car to move and it also makes the engine warm. Similarly, the body burns nutrients to make energy. Sometimes people are surprised to learn that nutrients are burning inside their bodies. Nutrients do really burn, but in different way from a fire, so there is no fire or smoke. Starch, sugar, and fat are made of the are made of the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. When they burn in the cells, they combine with oxygen from the air that will breathe in. They release energy and they change into carbon dioxide and water, which will breathe out. Let's look at uh, nutrition, develop, health, and development. You have probably heard the saying, you are what you eat, like I've said the other time. The health of your body depends on what you feed it on. Just as a healthy plant or anything else, we grow better in rich soil and good conditions. As you have learned in this study session, everybody needs a variety of foods that contain enough different nutrients to keep them alive. And healthy this means that nutrition is a foundation for health and development better nutrition means stronger immune systems less illness and better health for people of all ages healthy children learn better and grow better healthy people are stronger more productive and better able to break cycles of poverty and realize their full potential the relationship between between nutrition, health, and development is best described using the Millennium Development Goals. Thank you for listening. See you in the next slide. Bye for now.